Hi, I'm Willie Jones, and today I'll be reviewing for you The Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, you're, you're going to watch this review wondering, is it a good movie, should I watch it, or not? And my answer to you is, it completely depends upon who you are. In this day and age where comic book movies and comic books have such a huge and large fan base, it's really hard to tell who's going to like what. You have the crowd who likes for the movies to stay close to the comic book, as close as possible, keep everything the same, don't change a thing. And then you have the crowd who's just like, who cares? It's fun. I love superheroes. And then you have the critics, like me, who see things that, for lack of a better phrase, no one else really cares about. Like the art direction, or how this shot, you know, sets up the next shot. Little, little things like that in the filmmaking process. And I can honestly tell you, this film is probably going to disappoint some people. Um, actually, I can guarantee it. I've talked to fans of the franchise and fans of the superheroes, and I've gotten mixed reviews on this movie. Some of them love it. Some of them don't love it. Some of them are kind of in the middle. Personally, I love this movie, but I was left very disappointed because Josh Whedon, the director and writer, tried a very ambitious thing to do with this genre, the, the smash em up blow em up comic book superhero action adventure. He wanted to add substance, and by substance I mean he wanted to delve into character development and strengthening the relationship between audience and character and the in characters together, which creates care from us. Because then once they're put in tense situations, we care for them more because we know them better. We're rooting for them even more, as opposed to the first film, which was just good fun. It was just action sequences, let's build this up, put in a gag here, a gag there, and that was fine. But Whedon was trying to, as I like to call it, go the DC route. Add a little darkness to it. Add a little element that leaves you thinking instead of just watching and enjoying the big booms. And the problem is, the movie runs two and a half hours long, and it doesn't finish what it wants to do. Um, Whedon creates these these subplots between the characters, and he creates these um, these histories and paths presented to us, and yet he doesn't finish. It's like he gives it to us and then he leaves it there and goes back to his big booms. And while, yes, you go to the movie like this to see that, if you're going to give us some substance, give it to us. Don't just leave it there, you know? I, I, I'm going to put it like this. He's, he doesn't finish his end, and yet he starts a new beginning. It's like if somebody wrote a book and they don't finish the first book, and yet you love the first book, you loved every chapter of that book, and then in the final chapter he doesn't tie it all together, and then gives you the sequel. You know, it's like, yeah, I really love this first book, but you didn't finish, now you want me to start this second one, but what happened in the back one, you know, and, and it gets to be a little frustrating, you know, but you still cherish those moments in the first one that you enjoyed so much, and in the end of the day, you just gotta go, you know, let the writer lead me along. Let me go along with you. And that is what I'm doing with this. I'm going to wait patiently for the third one and just hope that it all ties back together because if it doesn't, I'm still going to be really disappointed but still have lots of fun. And that's this movie in a nutshell. And for that reason, I give Avengers Age of Ultron 4 out of 5 stars and recommend it for the ages 14 to 18. This is Willie Jones coming to you from Kids First. Thank you for watching.